yes good evening namaskar welcome to the session today though half an hour late today we are back oh come the small technical snag all right so before we formally begin with uh, the topic of today's evening session that is math pedagogy both paper 1 and uh, paper 2 all right yes that's what we are going to continue uh, for today's evening session and uh, followed by you can have evs and tomorrow we also will see math pedagogy and paper 2 cdp all right so that's how uh, i thought because as exams are in progress and uh, shortly for the first to 13th and also 16 17 rescheduled dates are expected to be released most probably by tomorrow or else definitely day after tomorrow most probably by tomorrow so that's the update on the your 16 17 postponed and uh, first to 13 scheduled to be released all right apart from that should you have any questions queries you want me to answer live just type in chat <coughs> uh, so that i can address the same before we move ahead all right okay chalo let me share your link in the telegram as well and we all together go ahead all right all right let me check are there any queries from those who have already joined live in youtube then we will see to progress from there all right Meanwhile, let me let me open and share the question paper from where we can go ahead yes live audio video is fine yes those who are watching live you can confirm mazbin begum good evening and welcome back hope you have done but uh, waiting for one more session right okay as i told that's the update on the question paper postponed reschedule of 16 17 that's the update i was expecting most probably today or tomorrow so today did not so far let us check anyway live once by any chance any update those of you have constraints checking live can visit along with me there right okay chalo let's see where here okay mm, yeah this is where we have seated website seated website seated.nic.in yes the public notice 1612 that is the only thing what is available uh, no other update as of now even bottom download admit card okay so those of you have first 213 try once again uh, the download admit card and uh, if you have any update let us know in the group based on that we'll update the others and also let you know but otherwise yes there is no rescheduled or first 213th uh, further clarity but yes there are exams undoubtedly first 213 Whether sixteen, seventeen, they should you are 
merged in that are separate that is to be known all right so let me stop sharing this as there is no update so people i understand the constraints and the challenges where others are writing their exams and ours got postponed for no fault of us only technical reasons and why it's okay one way yes we understand your trouble and on the other hand you got lucky also otherwise uh, so much of time prime time particularly after once you get the start engine started and uh, catch it up speed now that's a very good state in one way to look from the other side right covid has taught us several lessons how to search blessings in disguise right at odd times think what are the advantages possible things as such right so from that perspective please do go ahead and uh, now i just would like to open the question paper and we can go ahead from there all right yes paper 1 science uh, math pedagogy first we will see and then we move on to paper 2 all right 2019 no january it was july july 2019 2019 July paper one. Yes, this is the paper which I have shared, and yesterday we have discussed psychology. That is CDP part of it, and today we are going to discuss maths pedagogy. All right, two five zero. Two fifty percent is working well for us. Our screen share, so we will go ahead with that. All right. So one to thirty anyway, CDP which we have already discussed. So I'll skip that, and then move far from question number thirty-one. Okay, all right. A beaker is three seven thirty-one question. That's two thousand nineteen July seated paper one, PYQ. All right. Okay. So question number thirty-one. A beaker is three seventh filled with water. Another sixteen liter of water is needed to fill the beaker to its brim. What is the capacity of the beaker? Now, how do you answer this? All right. When three seventh, three parts out of seven parts are filled, and another sixteen liters is needed, means empty. What is the empty? Then four by seven out of seven parts total. Seven parts, all right. Out of these seven parts, three parts are filled. Now, how much blank? Four parts. So, four by seven is sixteen. Four by seven. This is how. I think. Just a minute. Did I share the screen? I'm sorry. I did not share the screen. That's what. The kind of, yes. Now I could see. Yes. Okay. All right. So who all there? Uh, we have Max Bean. We have M Sagar. Haki. That's gone. I don't know. That's a non entry. That's okay. Chalo. So this is the question number thirty-one. A beaker is three seventh filled with water. Another sixteen liter of water is needed to fill the beaker to its brim. What is the capacity of the beaker? Okay. Now I'll write here for your convenience. When three seventh is filled, right? Yeah, this space we will use. Yes, three seventh is filled, which means four seventh is empty. To fill this four seventeen, sixteen liters required. Four seventeen of X, let us say, is sixteen liters. Now, accordingly. X is equal to sixteen four by seven from this side. If you take that side, seven by four. This is shortcut. I hope you all are aware. Four one zero four four zero four seven zero twenty eight. So that's three seven three is twenty eight. What is the capacity of the beaker? He is asking capacity of the beaker. Six. This is what is this? X. 
x is the capacity 28 yes we have got direct 28 here you have option one okay for your convenience i'll just once again show here right so in the sum what is given is three seventh of a beaker is filled already three seventh of x is there then remaining is what four seventh how it is out of seven parts three parts filled means four parts empty four by seven x is equal in the sum it is given 16 liters 16 liters required to fill it to its brim which means four by seven of x is equal to 16 liters accordingly x is equal to 16 into four by seven will become seven by four this side then four one ja four four ja four seven ja 28 28 liters all right so that's the answer of the first one all right so let me reshare and we will go ahead from there 31 option number four is the right answer cello let's go ahead 32 yes what is it which of the following represents descending order of numbers descending ascending descending ascending is least to highest descending is the opposite of it highest to least okay so if you have an idea do it in the first round otherwise please go for second round first one you have an idea of that kind you do it otherwise just leave it don't worry all right okay but this is a mathematical way of solving it first one without mass how you can do you can trial second third round what you can do is after doing everything if time is left you can come here three seventh is filled and the four seventh is equal to 16 liters so 14 into 4 by 7 15 to 4 by 7 28 into 4 by 7 when you come there 28 into 4 by 7 7 1 ja, 7 4 ja, 4 4 ja, 16 you got this so therefore it is 28 will be the answer that is the other way shortcut sometime later in the long run when we continue i love to explain that for now let's move on to question number 32 which of the following represents descending order of numbers? Anyway, 3.3.3, .3 more than 3, 30, 30.5, highest. So therefore, it should start with 30.5. Yeah, second, third, fourth, that is okay. After 30, 3.5, 3.05, 3.05, 3.30, 3.5, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 3.05, 
no cages only 355 grams so this is the perfect descending order so option 2 all right have a good idea about this yes do this in the first go otherwise postpone it for second or third you don't know at all you don't have already a lot of confusion sir with these decimals okay leave it because if you are from a non mathematics or you have that something called maths my goodness is not my cup of tea in a long term you can prepare for it but in a short term a few of the items leaving is a better strategy because the most common experience shared by those who have already yes appeared the test says is the time management is the crucial and the critical key all right yes a shopkeeper mixed 5.3 kg of almonds 2100 grams of resin 2.2 kg of cashews and packed the mixture equally into two dozen packets what is the weight of each packet okay so 5.3 kg as i said kg and grams in that format you need to write so that you can aptly add this and go ahead all right the first one is 5 0.3 kg of almonds 5.3 two digits zeros you put this is almonds then second 2100 grams of resin that is 2.100 resins and then third 2.2 kg of cashews 2.2 kg is 2.200 cashews now he has the mixture is equally packed into two dozens of packets two dozens is 24 packets all right 24 packets now add what is the weight zero zero let me close this so that you will be able to see the board properly right yes this is what is given 5.3 kgs of almonds that is 5 kgs 300 grams 2100 grams of resins that is 2 kg 100 grams 2.2 kg of cashews that 2 kg 200 grams now add all these 2 plus 1 3 3 6 2 2 4 plus 5 9 9 kg 600 grams packed into two dozens he said 24 packets so divided by 24 9600 grams divided by 24 Okay, 24, 4, ja, 4, 4, ja, 16, 4, 2, ja, 8, plus 1, 9, 96. So, these two zeros will come here, which is accordingly 400 grams. In each packet, there supposed to be a 400 grams. Which option is there? Yes, here you could see 300, 400, 455. But if some of you have an allergy or the problem with this division of this kind of things, alternatively, you can... 24 packets are there, 300 grams into 24 packets, 400 grams into 24 packets. All right. So you will get the answer where 9 kg is 600 grams, 300 into 24, 300 grams into 24, two zeros, 24, three is 72, 7 kg, 200 grams only it's coming. So 400 into 24. And you will get that 9 kg, 600 grams. So this is the other way shortcut round if you get it you know you have a good command use the shortcut round otherwise use formal round none of the these are comfortable for you okay it's okay try in second or third round if time permits otherwise leave it okay what number am i i am a two zip two digit even number i am common multiple of three four six okay i have total nine factors Chalo. three four six total nine factors now take for example the simplest strategy is to all two zeros numbers first one is tallied i am a two digit even number all are two digit all are even satisfied i am a common multiple of three four and six three four ja 12 12 six ja 72 but not that big number so therefore 48 is divisible by 3 yes 4 plus 8 12 so yes that's another way I have total nine factors so cello take it straight away factors part you can go that is the hint you can take and from that perspective you can solve 
nine factors 48 how you can write 48 1 into 48 2 into 24 3 into um, 16 4 into 12 6 into 8 yes that's all yeah now how many factors have come one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i have a total nine factors so it is not 48 then go to 56 24 36 so like that you can try and uh, we are going to get the answer to question number 34 okay so then you can try the second third fourth it's a time taking all right but no other way anyway 56 5 plus 6 11 it is not divisible by 3 3 1 ja, 3 3 eight, ja. so it's not divisible by 3 you can rule out this this is divisible by 3 4 6 24 you can write like this easily short 1 into 24 2 into 12 3 into 8 and uh, 4 into 6 okay yes 1 2 3 4 4 to j 8 factors one. then go to 36 36 is 1 into 36 2 into 18 3 into 12 4 into 9 6 into 6 4 to j 8 plus this one 6 9 so thus option number 4 is the right answer okay one way of doing is this i think that's better if you know otherwise just okay okay all right yes chill out. let's go ahead asha plans to save some money from household expenditure to buy a mobile phone every week she saves rupees 50 on monday rupees 100 on wednesday and rupees 80 on friday and spend 60 from this on sunday how many weeks would she take to save enough to buy a mobile phone of 5950 so how much net she is saving in a week that's first we need to find out saves 50 rupees on monday 100 150 150 plus 80 230 230 minus 60 170 for week net she is saving 170 rupees her saving is 170 at this rate she require 5950 5950 divided by 170 is it 170 only 50 plus 100 150 150 plus 80 230 230 minus 60 170 right perfect so now any 0, 0, 17, 1, ja. 17, 3, ja, 51. So it's three times 8, 8, 5, 17, 5, ja, 85. 35. So she requires 35 weeks. Answer you have number two. Okay. All right. Simply oral, some oral calculation and some paper based calculation. All right. Yes. So, Chalo, let's go ahead next question number 36 if 1 1 0 0 to the base 0 1 1 to the base 2 is equal dash to the base 10 the number in the blank space is so to answer this you must be knowing the binary digit place values units 2 4 88 16 binary digit like in your decimal system, we have units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, okay, lakh, ten lakhs, like that. Binary digits. So I'll just write the number here for your convenience and then we'll calculate. And it's quite easy. If you know binary, it is easy. If you don't know, that's it. Leave it for chance. Okay. Double one, zero, double one to the base two. All right. I'll just close this sharing so that you could see the board clearly right yes it's good visible now yes let's go ahead now units 
2, 4, 8, 16. They are the place values. Then 32, 64, 128, if you know the binary system place values. Okay. Multiples of 2 starting from units. So, therefore, it is 16 into 1. That is 16 plus 1 into 8. 8 plus 4 into 0 is 0. Plus 2, 1 is 2. Plus 1, 1 is 1. 3, 11, 11, 16, 27. 2, 7. Check, you must have an answer called 27 as one of the options. Yes, option number 2 is 27. All right. Otherwise, you would know, but you have practiced only this 27 converting into binary system. Okay. You can try second, second and third round when you are taking chance. You can do take 22 first, of course. Option 1 is 22, 2 11 ja. Okay. 0 is a reminder. 2 5 ja 10. So 1 is a reminder. 2 2 ja 4 1 again reminder. 2 1 ja 1 0 reminder. 1 0 double 1 0. So that's not what is given. 1 0 double 1 0 is not given. So therefore, you can take 27 and follow this. Exactly, you will get the same. This is the other way around. Option 1 is this. Option 2 method 2 is this. Either way, you will be arriving at the same answer. All right. Yes. So 36, option 2, 27 is the right answer. 37, the side of a square is 10 centimeter. How many times will the new perimeter become if the side of the square is doubled? Side of the square is doubled. How many times will the new perimeter become? Okay. So let me write the given data on the board. And then I'll stop sharing so that you could see the board clearly and we will go ahead. All right. Shalom. The side of a square is 10 centimeters. This is what first given. This is a square shape whose side is 10. How many times will the new perimeter become if the side of the square is doubled? If the side of the square is doubled, what it will become? It will become 20. Perimeter is talking about, so let us write all the four sides. Now perimeter is 40. Here perimeter 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20, it is 80. Earlier perimeter 40, now perimeter 80. So therefore, how much it is? How many times? Two times. All right, let me just close the sharing. Let me show you this. Yes, initially side of the square was 10, 10 meters, let's say, right? Yes. Was given 10 meters, 10 centimeters. Centimeter means units is not an issue, by the way. It's okay here in this case. So then side of the square is doubled, that is 20. Now, what happens to the perimeter? That's what he's asking. Now, here perimeter is 10, 10, 10, 10, 4, 10, 40 or 4s formula. Either way, you remember, you know what the perimeter of a square is. Then here also 20, 20, 20, 20, 80. Originally perimeter was 40. Now perimeter has become 80. 80 is the double of 40. The double is known as two times, right? So therefore, it is two times. Option number four is the right answer for 37 question. All right, chalo. let's go ahead with 38. Which of the following letters have both horizontal and vertical lines of symmetry? Right. Basic concept of geometrical called symmetry. So now A. A will have symmetry across this horizontal line, uh, vertical line, but not horizontal. X second. Yes, this also has symmetry. And this also, if you fold like this also, it's the same. I'm sorry, it should come exactly the center. Like deviation. X is there. If I draw a vertical line, it is symmetric if you fold like this. Or if I draw a horizontal line, still it is symmetric. So therefore, you got the answer, not C, not Y. So it is X, option 2. On the other hand, drawing or folding like this, if you fold X or like this, if you fold X, 
it's going to the same image okay so therefore 38 option 2 is the right answer moving on to question number 39 yes 72 into 28 is equal to 36 into 4 into dash okay there are two ways the number in the blank is multiple of 7 prime number less than 10 and even number factor of 50 oh which of the following is correct again he is giving so many of these things right by the way first what is this blank okay the number in the blank is now 72 is 36 into 2 36 2 is 70 right 36 into 2 into 2 28 is 2 into 14 so 2 2 is 14 then it will be 14 the blank will be actually it is 14 okay now 14 is a multiple of 7 yes is a prime number no less than 10 no even number yes factor of 56 yes so d e a d e a d e option 4 all right those of you could get it is fine maybe only a critical thing is how come it is 14 that's the thing once you get the 14 rest of the things are of course you'll be able to identify the answer right let us look at the given number 72 into 28 is equal to 36 into 4 into dash this is what is given i'll just close the sharing you will be able to see this clearly right yes it's visible 72 into 28 is equal to 36 into 4 into dash now 72 is nothing but 36 into 2 into 28 you can write it 2 into 14 now this can be written 36 into 2 into 2 4 into this dash the dash is nothing but 14 so once you could identify the dash is 14 yes now this is obviously you'll be able to identify the answer once dash is 14 is a multiple of 7 7 to 14 yes a is correct a prime number 14 is not a prime number a should be there b should not be there with that you can go down a should be there but b should not be there it is gone it is gone it, a is not here so this is not there a is there yes b is not there then d e what is d an even number yes 14 is an even number and a factor of 56 14 4 is 56 so factor of 56 okay yes so that's how question number 39 answer number four all right 39 four is the right answer next question number 40 what is the correct sequence a teacher of class three needs to follow to explain the concept of quarter one by four to the students write symbol of a quarter on blackboard provide concrete material and uh, divides into quarters show pictures representing quarter so where he should start normally showing picture or concrete material divided into four quarters only after these two a will come right it should not begin with a either b or c right question number 40 it should begin with either b or c right so let us say it begins with b provide concrete material and divides then c show pictures representing quarter okay then write the symbol of concrete to abstract that is perfect what if c if you start with pictures representing quarter then provide concrete material this is pictures is semi concrete or 50 percent concrete 50 percent abstract yeto pakka concrete yeto pakka abstract so therefore concrete then semi then final abstract so b c a the better option so therefore option number three is the right answer all right yes 43 saurav got it okay yes chalo let's go ahead question number 41 a class third student performs multiplication of 16 into 25 as follows 16 8 into 2 yes you can write 25 5 into 5 8 into 5 into 2 into 5 okay commutative otherwise not a big deal 
that is equal 400. Which property of multiplication has the student used in this question? Distributive, associative, repeated addition, inverse multiplication. So question number 41. Yes, what's the property? Associative property. A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. A into B into C is equal to A into B into C, associative property, all right? Some of you may be finding it abstract. What is this, both ABCs only, right? A into B into C, first bracket this is equal to A into B into C, all right? Yes, that's what the associative property use. So, it's option two. Then, question number 42. How will you cater to the needs of visually challenged students of your classroom in an inclusive school? Option one, make them sit with high achievers. Two, use alternate teaching learning methods and resources. Option three, send them to a special educator. Four, provide them extra time for practice. This is ruled out. This is okay. This is use alternative teaching learning methods and resources. Okay, rather good. Make them sit with high achievers. No, ruled out. So it is option between two and four, but instead of just mere extra time for practice, use alternate teaching learning methods and resources, a better option. So 42, option two, yes. Sort of, you got it, that's right. Then going on to question number 43, which of the following is not a mathematical process? Transposition, visualization, memorization, estimation. Yes, you can guess it easily. Memorization is not a mathematical process. Visualization, yes, you assume. Estimation, yes, many a times we do. Approximation, transposition also we'll use in mathematics okay just now we were saying horizontally vertically symmetric then what are we doing we are doing transposition if position is shifted and those kind of things so except three so 43 not that is what is asked 43 3 is the right answer 44 which of the following is not related to early number concept classification class inclusion conservation measurement classification measurement so are there right is there classification pakka is there uh, class inclusion conservation also their measurement out of this if you count not related measurement number concept we are not going to measure just initially you are going to early number concept you can go early also not necessarily measuring so 44 4 45 which of the following statement is true regarding numeral and number? Option one, a numeral is a symbol used to represent number, Roman numerals, for example. Same number can be represented by different numerals. Option one, both A and B are correct. A is correct, B is incorrect, B is correct, A is incorrect, both A and B are incorrect question number 45 yes what do you guess these kind of questions half late a do paka correct a numeral is you a symbol used to represent number for example is your roman numbers same number can be represented by different numerals of course roman numbers indo arabic numbers so both are correct option number 4 is the right answer 45 option 4 then coming to 46, read the following word problems on addition. There are 15 oranges in a basket and 17 oranges in another basket. How many oranges are there altogether? Second problem. The price of a mobile phone is this, is increased by 375 after budget. What is the new price? Which of the following statement is correct? By the way, you need not to calculate the first two. Okay, it's question A. A represents 
augmentation structure of addition, whereas B represents aggregation structure of addition. A represents aggregation structure, B represents augmentation structure of addition. Both represents aggregation structure of addition. Both represents augmentation structure of addition. If you know what is augmentation and aggregation, attempt this question. Otherwise, you give leave this for the God if you believe otherwise in nature. And just by choice, you can put it. All right. Otherwise, the right answer is second. A represents aggregation structure of addition and whereas B represents augmentation structure of addition. This is what normally regularly we go aggregate add these two, right? Augment is this much difference and find out the new price. Okay. Yes. All right. Next. Um, okay. Just give me one minute. All right. Meanwhile, you can go through this question 47. All right, I'm back. So, did you get the answer? Uh, 47. A teacher gives the following task to students of class four. Let me check uh, what's up, whether somebody has answered. Anyway, let's go together. Arrange 25 tiles in all possible rectangular arrays. Which of the following mathematical concepts can be addressed through this task. Volume area length, area factors perimeter, area perimeter volume, area volume length. Okay, 25 tiles in all possible rectangular arrays. Rectangular will have factors. So, topaka. Area, of course, anyway, 25 tiles you are putting. Area will, volume though will not come. So, one is ruled out, area factors, Perimeter uh, volume will not come. So this has gone, this has gone, this, all the three has gone. Only one left is this area, factors and perimeter. So option number two for question number 47 is the right answer. All right. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. From there, let me see what's happening in the live people okay yes 47 from there let's move ahead yes 48 question number 48 identify the correct statement about the ability to conserve different physical quantities in measurement as proposed by PRJ. Option one, conservation of weight is grasped before conservation of volume. Conservation of volume is grasped before the conservation of mass. Conservation of weight is grasped before the conservation of number. Conservation of length is grasped before the conservation of number. 
So question number 48, yes. Conservation of weight is grasped before conservation of volume, right? Normally, cage 2, cage 3, cage. Volume is 3D. Normally, when we teach, we'll teach basic numbers where the weight can be represented, then area, then the volume, right? Yeah, from that perspective, the one is correct. So, obviously, it cannot be the second one. Conservation of volume is grasped before conservation of mass, no? Conservation of weight is grasped before conservation of number, no? After number only? We will say eight, eight. You don't teach first five cages, then number five, right? Okay. Conservation of length is grasped before conservation of number. Even length or weight, whatever is, will come after number. Basic number concept and then these concepts, right? Yes. So, therefore, option number one is the right answer for what? Question number 48. 48, option one is the right answer. Let's move on to question number 49. Van Halen's level refers to stages in the development of number concept, place value, geometrical thinking, and fractions. You have in your syllabus this concept and repeatedly a question is asked on this. It is Van Halen's geometrical thinking, 49 years, three, geometrical thinking. Then question number 50, which one of the following sets are problem solving strategies in mathematics? Trial error, drawing, memorization, drawing, working back, rote learning, reasoning, using variable, look for a pattern, probable, hold on. Memorization, guess and test, drawing. So instead, reasoning, yes. Using variable, when you don't know some value, you say x, that is what variable. Look for a pattern, yes. Number series, those kind of things. So therefore, question number 50, option number 3. That's the right answer. 50, option 3 is the right answer. Okay, chala, let's move on from there to question number 51. Which of the following teaching learning resources is best suited to explain the concept of multiplication of two decimal numbers 0 0.3 into 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.06. Dennis Blocks, Taylor Sabakas, number chart, graph paper, you have some, yes. This kind of question, some mass background or the knowledge or awareness will helpful, otherwise that's okay. So graph paper can be used, option number four, rest all. You just can search at your convenient time if you are interested to attempt uh, without leaving one question in mass paper one, otherwise it's okay. In that five to six, what I say out of 30, you can count one among them this. As for the recommendation of NCF 2005, primary school mathematics curriculum should be relate to children's everyday experience, undoubtedly repeated question. Previously also, we have come across once. Focus on procedural knowledge, provide rigor, rigor in mathematical concepts, prepare children for advanced mathematics. Of course, but yes, it mainly talks about this. 52, option one, that's the right answer. 53. Which of the following is not a characteristic of effective mathematics pedagogy? Using various teaching learning strategies for a single concept, no problem. Following strict time rules when introducing a new concept. Focusing patterns of students' errors, no problem. Third also, making connections with everyday experience, most welcome. So only thing that's following strict time rules when introducing a new concept. All right. So this is question number 53, option two is the right answer. Yes, let's go ahead. 54, which of the following is not an effective strategy to assess primary level students learning in mathematics? Designing tasks to differentiate between rote memorization and conceptual understanding, welcome, no problem. Analyzing children's errors to understand their reasoning, no problem. Designing tasks which elicit more than one level of response, okay using primarily group administered tasks. Option number 54, answer number four, that's the right answer. Not private group, it will not reveal the assessment of individual students learning. Okay, primary level students learning in mathematics. So therefore, option four, 54, option four, let's move on to 55. How many quarters are there in 18, three by four? Quarter is one by four, three by four, three quarters here, 18, each four quarters, 
72, 72 plus 3, 75. So, answer is 75. If you have that concept of quarter, one fourth. And now here is three fourths, three quarters, 18. In every one number, full number, four quarters will be there. All right, one by fourth. Quarter is one by fourth. So, therefore, 18 four are 72 plus this three quarters, 75 quarters. Option two, 55, option two. 56. In a school, half of the students play badminton, one fourth play, volleyball, one eighth play, tennis, one sixth play, chess, and remaining go for swimming. If the number of students playing volleyball is 160, how many students play chess? Whenever this kind of thing is there, this is the hint. What he has given? If the number of students playing volleyball is 160, students playing volleyball is 160. So, in the description, what did it given about volleyball? One fourth play volleyball. So, one fourth of x accordingly, unknown number will say x for convenience. So, accordingly, one fourth of x is. 160. One fourth is playing volleyball, and in the end, he has given number of students playing volleyball is 160. So, therefore, x is equal to 160 into 4 by 1, right? So, 0, 4, 6, 24, 4, 1, 4 plus 2, 6, 640. So, 640 is the total students. Now, what he is asking, how many students play chess? How many are playing chess as per description? One sixteenth play chess. So, one sixteenth of, that is, one by sixteen. One sixteenth of x. x is total how much now? 640. So, 4, 4, 4 1 ja 4, 4 6 ja 24, 0, 4 1 ja 4, 4 ja 0, 0, 40. So that's how you can calculate 40. Option 1. Question number 56. Option number 1. That's the right answer. Okay. Hope you got it. Otherwise, just pass this. Try once again. All right. So you will get it. It's, it's not that difficult, but needs to focus and small practice as well. All right, Balaji, good evening. P. Balaji also have joined live. Chala, let's go ahead further. Deepa goes to a post office to post mail letters and parcels. The postal rates depicted are below like this. Now Deepa wants to send two parcels weighing 250 grams and 300 grams respectively. Parcels cost parcel for every additional letter, letter weighting parcel. 50 grams are less 5 rupees for every additional 50 grams 3 rupees. Okay. So, one is 250 grams, another is 300 grams. So, you need to calculate 250 grams, 50 grams are less 5 plus for every additional 50 grams 3. So, 250 will have 550s, first 50 5 rupees, remaining 450 is 3 rupees, 4 3 is 12 plus 5, 17 rupees. This will have 1 plus 5. 5 3 is a 15 plus 5, 18. Okay. So, like that, this is there. And the letters 20 grams and 35 grams. 20 grams, okay, 5 rupees. 35 grams, 5 plus 2, 7 rupees. Like this, you add all that and then you will get the answer called 57 4. Yes, 57 4 is the right answer, 49. Okay. Then I'm intentionally skipping. If you can't do that, uh, sir, please add me to your Okay, right, Balaji. Um, okay, you can send a mail to my mail ID if you don't have uh, the groups, and then I'll add you there to your number. All right, or else you just type in the chat your number. If you don't have any objection, I can add you there. All right, yes. Otherwise, you can directly mail it to my mail ID, Dr. Yakaya2020 at the rate of gmail.com. Okay, I'm just typing for the convenience. Dr. Yakaya at the rate of gmail.com. Yes, I just shared my mail ID. 
you can send a mail there your, with your number i can add all right yes digits two three four six seven and eight are arranged in the following blanks the largest possible number after addition is okay digits are arranged in the following blanks okay largest possible number after addition is okay two three four on the top okay let's see let's put it and add and see the largest possible number are arranged in the following blanks he did not say in that sequence or anything right largest possible number after addition then we will say 4 3 2 and this side 8 7 6 this is one possible 8 7 3 10 4 3, 8 12 13 1308 but do we have that number or more that is not there 13 not 8 is there but but there is one more thing because serial he did not mention either here here there is no rule that it has to be in serial order so what it can be digits two three four six seven eight are arranged in the following blanks the largest possible number after addition so then the largest number is eight and seven in the first row coming so i can put like this instead right um yeah eight here seven here then uh six five four three 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 six right two is also there eight seven um six we have five we don't have so four three two three we have and two we have suppose if we arrange like this then the possible number is number is 16 not 5 1605 we have 1605 also yes so therefore that is the better answer all right question number 58 answer number two there's a right answer for your convenience i'll just stop sharing and i will show you right the given numbers are this 432876 so there is no rule like you should write order like this to get the largest possible number this place the highest hundreds place value should have the highest one eight seven then six five is not there in the given number so we go for four then three then two then you will get the one six zero five the highest possible number all right yes so therefore question number 58 answer number two that's the right answer moving on to the 59th the next question read the following railway timings of new delhi chennai rajdhani express and answer the question station arrival departure like this in the railway timetable is given which of the following statement is true the duration of journey from bhopal to vijayawada is 13 hours 10 minutes bhopal to vijayawada here is bhopal here is vijayawada bhopal departure vijayawada arrival bhopal departure say midnight 5 minutes vijayawada arrival afternoon 2 o'clock 15 minutes so this is 14 hour 15 minutes minus 5 minutes 14 hours 10 minutes 14 hour 10 minutes not 13 hours 10 minutes it is 14 hours 10 minutes so this is not true which of the following statement is true that is what he is asking then the duration of journey from nagpur to chennai 15 hours 10 minutes nagpur departure 535 chennai arrival 8045 8045 minus 535 when you subtract you will get the hours this is 15 hours 45 minus 35 10 15 hours 10 minutes yes 15 hours 10 minutes so therefore of question number 59 option number two is the right answer okay you need not go and this if you want to recheck this once again and put the option all the four reading is only in that context not this a whole number is added to 50 and the same number is subtracted from 50 the sum of the resulting number is dash 
a whole number is added to 50. 50 plus, let us say, 5, 55. And the same number is subtracted from 50. 55 minus 50, again 50. The sum of the resulting numbers is added and subtracted. Some of the resulting numbers, 55. And the resulting number 50, 55. The resulting added 55, subtracted 45, 55, 45, 100. Yes, 60. Option number four, that's right. A whole number is added to 50. That's what he is talking about, right? Let me stop sharing and uh, show you this. A whole number is added to 50, right? 50 plus, let us say, 5 is added, 55. And then subtracted from 50, 45. Resulting numbers, 100. If not 5, if you add 10 also, then it will become 65. 10, this will become 40. 60, 40. Here 60, here 40. 60 plus 40, 100. So like this, any whole number you add and subtract, it is the same net result is going to be 100. All right, yes. So with this, we have concluded uh, the 60 mathematics and uh, then EVS, EVS it begins. Okay, so I'll stop here and uh, see you back tomorrow live at 7 p.m. All right, okay. Let's see if EVS madam is ready, EVS session will be continued. We'll share the link. Otherwise, we'll get back to you tomorrow, All right? Let me end the live. Thank you for joining the live. And uh, should you have any queries, type in any of your R groups, WhatsApp group, Telegram group, or below this video in the comments also, you can type in, All right? So 